Hello, ladies and gentlemen, once again in this brief title section which you can now enjoy. Ready for some more of my rambling about the game? <laughs> Probably you are, so thanks for staying with me throughout the entire Bioshock Infinite story. I, I honestly can't believe I've played this all through, because I barely remember myself in the beginning of all this. I made a lot of language mistakes, I was so timid, barely keeping the game and the commentary together, so <laughs> I'm not sure about it now either, but uh, it seems the whole eternity at this point. I will not say much about the story itself, because I have said a lot in the 28th episode of the original game title section, and there is honestly not too much to patch it with. Except for maybe another confirmation that it is all based on the super string theory being popular nowadays. You may browse it if you like, but this is the theory that presupposes multi-universal structure of existence in which there can be infinite amount of certain realities. There's like a two hour long video explaining all this, just type super string theory or 10 dimensions in YouTube and you'll get it. And I spent just as much trying to cram it all into my head and understand it afterwards. But one more thing I should mention is that Burial at Sea, as I suspected, is a bridge between Bioshock Infinite and the original game, Bioshock. And in these last moments we have even been treated to a couple of direct references to the original game, such as those audio logs and the scene of Su Chong's death, which ended up somehow recorded. <laughs> oh yeah, you can actually hear both of these recordings in the original game, if you please. I just figuratively said that in Bioshock, the wrongs can only be righted by blood and it seems to be a rough gist of it. But I believe right now that it would have been difficult to connect the events of the game with actual reality if the characters actually stay alive. The space-time loop isn't finished, it will not end if Booker stays alive. Elizabeth will be then turned into a warmonger zealot, basically. If Elizabeth is left alive, technically the there is still possibility of using this dimension by. travel again, which leads to more time-space loops. She herself, so to speak, is a byproduct of Lutece's scientific achievements, and if one listens carefully to their own words, they themselves regretted that they made it in the first place. Originally, they just wanted to unite as a family, but later, as they were forced to float in the interdimensional vacuum, not belonging to any reality anymore, they realized how much it meant to them. But the result of their work has already got into wrong hands and they had to act using someone else. The curious thing is, what's the better variant if not the same person as the villain is? but from another reality. <laughs> Go figure! For some reason, I even think the Lutesses knew how it'll end, but simply didn't tell Elizabeth. But still, they planned the whole thing, forcing Daisy Fitzroy to murder Jeremiah Fink, forcing then Elizabeth to save his son and consecutively become a murderer. Oh yeah! Psychology, ladies and gentlemen! She then must have set herself on two things. First of all, murder is sometimes justifiable, like in Burial at Sea Part 1, and second, children should be saved. Which leads us to Burial at Sea Part 2, where she faces the challenge of not just saving Sally, but all of Rapture children being unaware of the latter. Breaking circles evidently is a bit too much for a single person unless we deal with fate and stuff like that. Whew. I started all that as an investigation, but I am afraid I'll have to close the case just because all the people involved died during the process. Sadly, I can't say they were all guilty because I'm a compassionate person by nature and really empathize a lot to the characters. The only survivors are probably Lutesses, and even this is arguable, but 
They basically have done great research, invented really amazing technology and then yeah. simply trusted it into the hands of a wrong person. <laughs> Which means they stood before the dilemma of deliberately ruining the life of certain people or just sit tight and wait till the lives of thousands will be ruined in a lot more cruel, merciless and bloody manner. So I'm simply not the person to judge, but if someone asks me, I'd leave them be. There are other characters like Ryan and Fontaine, but this is entirely another story. As I've said, maybe I'll launch another project and devote it to the original Bioshock, so feel free to contact me. If there are enough people interested, then I'll definitely do it. As for this game... Oh, I really like it a lot. There's just a ton of food for thought here. but. It's beautifully done, rich in graphics, sound content and gameplay too. It was just a pleasure to give a nice world to my mouse and the keyboard. Maybe I can go criticizing something, but even if I do, those are going to be minor issues which probably are just the matter of preference. So yes, I enjoyed it from the start to this very ending and honestly consider Bioshock Infinite a game that simply should be in a gamer's collection as a masterpiece that later on will become classics and remembered in time afterwards. And now, as soon as I know what comes next, there is a brief break for a commercial prospect of Rapture Ryan Industries. Always hot and hurried like a rat in a race Like a fly by at such a frantic pace Need to freeze a moment, put your worries on ice We got a plan before you, that's just the spice Chill out Relax Be cooler than the coolest cats When things heat up, don't be a fool With old man winter you can keep your cool Feeling hot under the collar? Stay frosty with the plasmid that lets you enjoy life at a cool pace. Turn down the heat and turn up the ease and relaxation with Old Man Winter from Ryan Industries. Keep your cool in Old Man Winter. I was more than happy to make this playthrough for you guys, so if you are still with me and like this one, feel free to thumb up and subscribe, also feel free to criticize or make suggestions for improvement, or simply suggest another title that you'd like to see on my channel. I'm also open to any cooperative projects, in games, voice acting or just cooperative gaming, as you please. Always glad to listen to you and read your comments, and you may be sure that I'll leave you the feedback as soon as possible. Ready for some more emotional, philosophic and if necessary critical playthroughs, more awesome games, more masterpieces of gaming industry, then stay tuned in to ANZ and I can guarantee you a lot of fun and entertainment. There are more projects coming in addition to the ongoing ones. And I'm publishing every day just for you. Which is what I'm here for. On top of all this, I'm working on expansion of my channel right now, so you'll be able to see it all in development, if you like. Once again, thank you all for staying with me. You're awesome, guys. It was Bioshock Infinite, the whole game on A and Z, the entire alphabet of gaming, with me, Tauber Half the Mighty, your obedient servant. I'll see you in other projects. And for now, traditionally, signing. <laughs>